Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to continue my animation diagram which I left in the previous video in this video. So those who haven't watched the video before, you can watch the video in the link in the description. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cover the uh, hopper of the cold feed. I'm going to cover it with a black block or black solid fill. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to adjust the height and everything. So now you can see that there's an extension from the second pipeline which you can see right now. I'm going to cover that pipeline using a white block or a white rectangle. So what you can do is that you can make figures and connect them but sometimes if the figure goes out to the boundary you can cover them with the using small objects or small rectangles or square whatever you want or depends upon the size of the or the area you want to cover. So right now I'm just covering that shape so that it doesn't look in the comes in the front video or front section or the other section. So now as you can see that the white blocks are coming in the front I'm going to select them and send it to the background so that they don't, don't appear in the front. Let's add a wipe animation to this which uh, comes from top to bottom and uh, you can see the position in the animation pane is a little bit far but we need to adjust that but before doing that we want to see which color we want to give to our hopper. So we don't want it to be actually full so we want it to be half full so what are we going to do is that we are going to go in the shape format and then we are going to click on the fill and see the which patterns we, want, we can add to this diagram. So it depends how do you want your cold to look in the hopper it should have a porosity or should have empty spaces inside so you can do that so now I'm adjusting the position of my hopper animation to come after the last circle coming on the conveyors why is that because we don't want it to be pre-filled so we want to show that the circle comes and then comes the uh, filling so now what I'm doing is that I'm going to apply the same animation wipe animation either from left to right or from top to bottom in this part so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one I will reduce the size of the block so that it appears inside the boundary so it doesn't look like it's going outside. So just reduce the size as per you want and then what you can do is you can copy that and paste it for the rest of the figure. So I'm just covering the blocks or just covering the outlines with a fill so that it looks like the coal is coming from top to bottom and as soon as the coal comes it's just filling the background. So I'm just adding the other shapes and just filling the shape using uh, the previous image that I copied and I'm going to paste this uh, until the end of the diagram. So now I've already covered it so now I'm going to add a wipe animation to all of these blocks like similar way which I added to the hopper tank and I'm going to change its position from left to right or top to bottom and I want it to appear until Till the end of the slide so now mostly the hopper is done as you can see now we are going to move to the next part of this section which is the pump which is the blower or you can say that the 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 pump which moves the slurry or whatever feed it to the uh, combustor so you can see that i'm just adding a small shape and on that outline i'm adding another circle which i will give a color so what I want is actually that I want it to appear empty first and then when the animation starts the color comes. So now I'm adding a spin animation on it and I can adjust the direction either it can be clockwise or anti-clockwise. So it all depends on you. I'm just adding it so that it starts after the previous one that when the coal comes and then it moves. So now I'm going to select the other part of the uh, diagram and I'm going to paste it because I like I told you before. You can do the animation slowly. In section it will be more easier for you. Now I'm going to copy the same part and I'm going to paste it here the same way I did it for the hop, hoppers, uh, hoppers pipelines. And I'm going to add this to the feed, feed pipelines also. I'm going to just fill these diagrams, fill these blocks inside the empty outlines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same animation for these also which is the wipe one. And the direction of these, and these uh, objects I can adjust whether it's going from top to bottom or whether it's going from left to right or whether it's going from top to bottom or bottom to left whatever you want so you can adjust these options as you can see in the animation pane on the right hand side which shows the effect options so now i'm just adding this block to show an effect that the this coal is going from behind the pipe on the front one so now let's uh, work on the this part i'm just adjusting the height so that it looks like it's inside the pipeline and it's not outside and remember do save your work okay so now as you remember i use a gif for the smoke in the previous animation you can also find a smoke gif online and just use it so now I'm just adding a path to the smoke a GIF which is moving from the bottom to the top and then it will go to the second pipeline in the bottom of the combustor. So now what I'm doing is I'm arranging the position. So as you can see the first smoke should come first and then the second one and the third one. So you need to be really careful with the direction and with the arrangement. So the first smoke comes first and then the second and third. Now let's copy the rest of the parts of the diagram so that we can work on those parts and also see the animation uh, animation schedule and all that. 
So now, as you can see, these parts are done. What I want to do is that I'm going to rearrange these ones and I'm going to copy this GIF smoke and I'm going to copy and paste them in the small pipelines as you, I will show you a little bit right now. So now you can see that these smokes are are already placed in the pipelines. Now I'm going to copy them and paste them in these small pipelines and I will do it for you and show you how it looks. I'm going to add this smoke and send it to the background so that it can show a smoky look to the pipeline. Now we will work on the heat exchanger. Remember I told you we need an outline for every diagram and then we need to cover it with a fill or any other colorful shape. So now I'm making an outline for the heat exchanger pipes so that it can show that it was empty and when the smoke comes it gets its heat from it and it changes color from dark red to light yellow whatever you want. So now I'm just adding a small uh, outline for my heat exchangers. Now I'm adding a small adding the actual gradient picture of this uh, heat exchanger and now I will add an animation for that which is the wipe one again from bottom to the top. We can adjust the speed of these animations from slow to fast speed it all depends on how do you want. So if you want the animation to be more fast you, you can do it slow or if you want it to be animation more slow you can make it a little bit more slower. So it all depends on you. So now you can see that we are working uh, we want this animation to repeat until the end of the slide and some animation not to repeat at the end of the slide so it all depends on us. So now what I'm adding is that I'm working on the pump I want it to spin and also want it to uh, rotate. So what I'm doing is that right now the position of the spin is a little bit away or the end of the animation i'm trying to move the animation to the top when the coal comes because i want it i want to show like the when the pump rotates the feet goes up so i want to adjust that location so you can simply adjust that location by dragging those and by selecting them and dragging them by placing at that point so now you can see the pump is at its position where i want and if it's hard for you to find you can zoom out the animation pane and you can easily see where your animation is because when the animation becomes big, it becomes really difficult for you to find the actual look. So now let's work on the other pumps. Uh, we are just adding small circles and same animation. And uh, we are just going to do uh, another animation. So remember if you want to add multiple animations, you need to add animation instead of just clicking on animation. So you need to click add animation tab in the top section and then add an animation. You cannot add a simple animation twice on a single object by just clicking on it. So now I'm just adjusting the position so that the pump starts when a certain section starts. So I'm arranging depending upon their uh, location and depending upon the time when they need to be started. So it can vary depending upon your process but this one is just an example so you can adjust. So just learn how you can move the animation from one point to another. Also you can see that when you click an animation there is a, there is a highlight on that animation with a number. And you can see the same number on the right hand side in the animation pane. Now I'm just adding smokes so that it shows there is a chimney and this smokes comes after the pipeline is a tube. So now let's work on the second part or the other part of the animation which is outline. Now I just copy this outline so that I want to add a gradient in my combustor. So what I did is I just copied the outline for my combustor and now I'm going to add a solid shape behind this. But before if you just do it like this it will not have a solid shape because it's not, an, it's not a filled image. So I'm going to add a small shape behind it and I'm going to give that shape a color. So that shape has a color, it will uh, show you how it looks like with a background image. So now I'm adding that uh, image of gradient so that I can show that the, my combustor is in a hot position. So I will just quickly adjust the sides and remove the extra space on the outline of my combustor. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use uh, the shapes like white shapes to cover the extra space and then after adding these spaces I can, I can copy it as an image and paste it as an object. So far uh, the combustor is working good uh, it's doing a great job so now what we can do is that we can just uh, quickly remove the empty spaces that we don't want and uh, then we can see how it looks. We can just paste it as an object as an image and remove the extra space using crop tool. After that what we can do is that we can remove the extra background using the remove background tool. The pink part shows the extra space, you can cover that uh, until your uh, complete object is covered and you can remove the spaces that you don't want. I'm going to extend it to find my original picture and then I'm going to copy this picture and paste it in my real diagram. After pasting it here, adjusting the area, and you can send it back to the diagram. When you send it back, it looks like it is a part of an image instead of looking like a separate object. So now what I'm doing is just removing slight differences and making a clear diagram so that it doesn't look have a boundary or doesn't have an extra line so what I'm doing is that I'm just removing the extra space. Now I'm doing the remove background tool again 
and I'm going to remove extra space from this and then copy and paste it to my original diagram. So now you can see that my gradient picture is at the background and it looks really like that the combustor is getting hot and it's increasing temperature. I will add the same animation wipe from bottom to top and I can adjust this. So now what I want is that I want this to appear after the smoke starts. So just click on the smoke it will show you the number of the animation and then you can move your gradient background to the point when the first smoke line comes. So as you can see here the feed comes in and the first smoke line comes in and then when the smoke starts the gradient also starts so that's what you want so that's that's the reason behind the timing of the uh, of the animation what you want to start now let's work on the pipeline so again wipe animation left to right bottom to top whatever you want depending upon the direction of the flow remember for every animation you need a background image and outline so before with an outline you can do like this you can copy that image and reduce its brightness so that it looks a little bit dull and then you can paste original image that you worked on on the top of it so right now you can see there's a background image which is an outline and when the original image comes it can show that okay it is filling actually filling the pipeline so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to cop i'm going to select all of these as an object select all of these because these are a group animation what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to check whether they are working fine in a separate page so that it doesn't becomes difficult for me in the main page i'm going to copy them and going to paste it i'm trying to cover it so that it can cover properly on the top of my outline so now i'm just checking uh, for small uh, problems and small difficulties what i'm going to do is i'm going to click that that when i click it should come start in the animation so it's working fine i'm going to come i'm going to drag it and move it to the outline which i draw be before so now everything is fine as you can see the animation starts i click and it starts and the flow works then now let's go work on the turbine part Everything is going smooth and everything is working fine. You need to uh, look the rearrangement. You need to look how the flow works in your animation every time you apply an animation because once you apply an animation, it should work fine. So now what I'm doing is I want my pipeline to start working when the smoke comes down and when the gradient starts. So I'm going to select all these and I'm going to go at, at the point where the first smoke comes. And I'm going to place these animation at that point so that it shows that when the smoke comes, the my animation for the pipeline also starts. So I'm just dragging them all to a certain point. You can also uh, remember them with the numbers uh, of the animation. When you click on any any object, it will show the number of anima uh, the number of uh, animation aligned to it. Like and may either number one, number two, number three, or number four. You can see in the animation pane. So now let's work on a turbine. So before working on turbine, uh, I'm going to add a color impulse, which is a color animation, and I'm going to add a specific color. So that means it will vibrate and it will pulse, and I want it to repeat until the end of the slide. I'm going to use animation painter and copy and do it same for the other four uh, three uh, three turbines. So this part is done, uh, everything is done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the other part, which is the uh, cooling tower and all that. I'm going to add a small smoke, which is actually I want to show a drift of water going out of from the uh, cooling tower. So this is the pipeline which I copied before. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to add an outline just like the way I did it for the uh, for the pipes in the combustor. I'm going to make an outline first and then I'm going to make a colored, uh, colored version of this outline which will show that the condenser liquid is moving inside and is filling inside. So now just uh, copy it and drag it, make it uh, suitable for the picture and adjust, uh, adjust, the, adjust the line so that it fills the complete section. And once you are done, you can copy it and paste it as an object. And once you paste it as an object, you can change the color for this and place it in the front of it. Remember, do not put any, any animation on the outline. Put the animation on the colored objects so that only the colored objects appears and the outline re remains same in the image. So now I'm just working on the pipelines for the cooling uh, tower, which is that it should come at which position and it, can, it should uh, go away in, in which position. So now I'm just adding a wipe animation from left to right, from bottom to top, whatever you want, depending on the direction of the flow. Okay. So once you are done, once you apply it, you can look at the animation pane. So now again, I'm adding one thing, which is the outline. Outline is necessary to show that the, this is empty force and then it fails as soon as the animation starts. So now I'm just making slight adjustments so that the extra space of the pipe can be covered. Now moving towards uh, the position of the animation. So now which time, which animation comes? I'm going to check this one. So now there are slight dis uh, discrepancies. Now what I'm going to do is go to animation pane and check 
which animation to come first. I'm going to drag that to the initial position so that the first one pipes come first, then the second one, then third, followed by according to the uh, arrangement or the direction of the flow. So now I'm just adjusting the direction or the time when the flow should come so that it could uh, resemble exactly how the flow is working from top to bottom. Now you can see it comes from top and then goes to the left to the bottom. So now I'm just adding them and I want them to appear after the previous one which means that it should be coming after uh, the first uh, animation is over and then the second one comes. So now everything is smooth working line and now I'm going to work on the other sections of the uh, animation which is uh, the section includes the section for the uh, electricity generation and I'm going to add a small animation to this one which is either it can be fade or either it can be appear or I also want it to uh, repeat until the end of the slide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a pulse which shows that it's, uh, it's emerging again and again and it's generating something. So I'm adding an animation pulse animation to this part and then I'm going to add uh, repeat it till the end of the slide. And then I'm going to add another object on this one and fill it with some color. I'm going to fill this with some color which shows that it's filling in some certain tank. So now I also want it to repeat until the end of the slide and then you can see it fills up and fills up again and again. So now I'm just adjusting small minor changes and I want them to appear at a certain time so I can adjust the time of, the, of my uh, animation to appear at a certain time. So now I'm just going to uh, change the color and change it to black so that it can give a more uh, generic look for electricity produced and it all depends upon your choice of colors or your cho choice of design what you want. So this is uh, how you do it for the electricity. Now we are going to work on the condenser pipes. Condenser pipes also has the same animation which is wipe animation, appear animation. First you need to make an outline first and then you need to make an, another object which covers that outline and has a color inside. So what you can do is that you can have an outline first and then you can place another image on front of it which is actual color and has an animation. Remember outline never has an animation because it is going to stay in the picture as it is. So I'm just copying the other parts portions and I'm going to add animation to this. I'm going to add the same animation which is the wipe animation and also I'm going to make an outline first and then I'm going to copy the colored one on the top of it. Remember that okay? Outline first and then the colored ones on the top of it. So simple animation. I just used the wipe animation throughout this, uh, throughout this animation project. So you can use wipe animation, you can learn wipe animation more and more and you can get used to how it works from left to right, from top to bottom, whatever you want. So now I'm just adding the colors and just you see I'm adding the outline first now so that it appears first and then the color one fills the outline. So still it doesn't appear I'm going to copy them and paste them and uh, as you can see uh, you can copy them by just clicking on them and then you can add a certain color. So I just copy and paste on the front top of it and I'm going to add a dark color so that it looks like it's an empty pipe. So this is how you do an animation of a combustor plant. You can uh, run the slideshow every time you add an animation to see if there is any problem because if you find the problem at the initial stage it will be easy for you to manage that problem. But if you find the problem at the end it might be a little bit difficult for you to figure out where the problem is. But don't worry, go stepwise you can easily do everything. Guys remember I did nothing at all but, but I just used the wipe animation. So you also need to just uh, get used to the wipe animation by simply making smaller projects and then you can make those projects a little bit more bigger and bigger whatever you want. So remember first an outline then you can place a color image on the top of it. So now the mostly mostly our animation is done. I'm just making slight adjustments and making color and also making slight improvements in my diagram which includes if in a certain image is going outside the boundary or I want to change the uh, color which appears. Remember if you change the color it doesn't affect the animation so don't worry for that. So now I'm just adding a more mature colors and uh, working on the small minor details. Now I'm adding a small a stand which shows that this is a platform for my plant and it shows a, it gives a small look and uh, it gives a perspective that it is a 3D diagram. So now I'm just adding a gradient color and also adjusting small adjustments which I can see after applying the background. Then I'm just changing the color of my platform. I'm going to add a small outline to this platform and also uh, you can change the color of the gradient which I showed in my previous videos. And if you want to learn more about my animation you can check out my other videos. 
I uh, hope you guys liked this video and it was helpful for you. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz. See you next time.